Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to show you four new awesome emulation station themes that you can use on your Raspberry Pi while running RetroPie. First off, I want to show you the settings that I use with most of these themes, and I'm also going to show you how to install them. So first up, I'm going to press start on my controller. I'm going to go to UI settings, and I want to set this to instant transition style. We're going to back up other settings, VRAM limit. I usually go to about 100. I find that works with most themes. You can try to go a little bit higher, but I have had issues. So 100 is where I set. Now we need to update the RetroPie script. We're going to head over to the RetroPie menu. Make sure you're connected online. RetroPie setup. From here, we're just going to scroll down to update RetroPie setup script. Yes, needs to be online for this to work. Fetch the latest version of the RetroPie setup script. Now that we have the script updated, we're going to exit. Scroll up to ES themes menu. Now the newest themes will show up in the ES themes menu. You do have to update that RetroPie setup script for them to show up. You can go through here, download any theme you want. The first theme I want to show you here is by Leap Bellow, and this is the Space Oddity theme. Really love the look of it. Over on the right hand side here, we got a hyperspin kind of look. But if you go into one of these emulators, we got that emulation station look back. I think it's really nice with the almost full screen video snaps. Obviously, it supports video. Really nice theme here. Lots of systems are supported. We'll just go into Sega 32X. It's really snappy too. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus on the stock clocks. I'm not overclocked at all. Love this theme. The next theme is called Stranger Stuff and it's by Leap Bellow again. He does a lot of these awesome themes. It's got kind of a Stranger Things vibe to it. As you can see, it does support video snaps. I really like the font he used. So if you're really into Stranger Things, this is an awesome theme for you. Really smooth. Theme number three is called Blue Ray and it's by Dwayne Hurst. You might recognize that name because he does an amazing job with these emulation station themes. He's got a lot on the ES themes menu. I recommend downloading most of them and checking them out. But this looks really cool. Got a really nice look to it, and it's really minimalistic if you think about it. There's not a lot going on here. It does support box art and video snaps. I think it looks amazing. He did a great job with this one. This is definitely one I want to try out a little more. Runs very smooth. So we got box art. It'll switch over to the video snap. He just keeps coming out with these awesome themes. The next one I'm going to show you is actually by Dwayne Hurst. I'm just going to scroll through here a little bit more. And this thing supports a ton of systems. He always supports a lot. The final theme I want to show you is also by Dwayne Hurst. He goes by Retro Hursty 69 on the ES themes menu and the RetroPie forum. If you see him, give him a shout out. Check out his other themes also. This one is called Soda. Now, I don't know where this guy's coming up with his ideas from, but he is doing an amazing job. He's got Magazine Madness, Card Crazy, a Christmas theme, and a ton of others you need to check out in the ES themes menu. This guy is insane. Loving the look of this. Font looks great in here. As you can see, box art, switch to video snaps as long as you have them. Very smooth theme. Dwayne Hurst is one of the best themers out there. I mean, I don't see anything else that compares to some of the stuff that he's put out lately. It's just super professional, and it had to take him a long time to do this. Like I mentioned, I don't know where he comes up with these ideas, but I hope he keeps going because he has made Emulation Station for PC and the Raspberry Pi so much better with these awesome themes. They're just gorgeous. I want to give a big shout out to both of these theme developers, Fleet Bello and Dwayne Hurst. They have made using Emulation Station on the Raspberry Pi so much more beautiful. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more great content, and like always, thanks for watching.